What's up guys? We're gonna do another quick day of eating. Same thing I've been doing for the past three or four years now. Liver detox diet. And a decent amount of stuff going on. You know, I got like new water key for recipe experimenting. I've been doing some new breakfasts with the like the puffed rice and the puffed wheat that we have on Frankie's Strange Foods now, which will be available uh, hopefully by the weekend. And uh, just a few different things, but today, I'm going to go drop my car off at the mechanic, and I don't really feel like having breakfast, so uh, we're just going to do some glandulars, a little bit of masticum, and then hopefully uh, I can get back by 12 or 1 and have some lunch. Uh, so we'll definitely put some organic rice and water in the rice cooker. We'll show you guys that before I leave. Uh, but first, so I actually wanted to do some caviar this morning for some extra omega-3. And I like doing that in the morning because, you know, you have one or two ounces of this very high quality omega-3 source and you just have that on its own and then it'll, you know, sit in your stomach for a few hours so you can really absorb and digest all the nutrients. But I only like doing that when I know I'm going to have lunch at a reasonable time. Uh, so today we're just going to do the glandulars, which is also a good source of omega-3, probably the main one in my diet. Uh, this is the third eye glandular which is all of the, uh, like the pineal hypothalamus and pituitary gland of the cow. So I'll take a few scoops of this, which is not only good for those very special hormones, but it does have omega-3 because it is brain tissue. And then I'll do uh, a scoop or two of the Malvarotti. And I'm going to do like half a scoop of thyroid and half a scoop of adrenal. Then I, uh, then I wash it all down with a little bit of masticum. Yeah, so if you guys are unfamiliar, these are cow organs that they take and freeze dry uh, to preserve all the nutrients and then it's kind of grinds into a powder. So it's very easy, very convenient compared to having to source and eat the raw organs, which we do have on Frankie's strange meat. It's just, this is so much quicker and easier. I prefer doing this in the morning. And you get the bioactive hormones corresponding to each of these. So as, as with anything I tell you guys, like these work instantly. Like if you get these, you'll try them. Literally within an hour, you will immediately feel the difference. And we have the best prices online on organsupplements.com for that stuff. So, Let's get that rice in there. You guys like how organized I am with my legal paperwork? I actually had it in the front seat of my car and it was so windy that all the papers got like sucked out of the car all over my driveway. So we almost lost some of them. Uh, but this is a Yum Asia rice cooker. I bought this because the, the material on this pot they have is the least toxic as far as I can find. There's a really, really popular rice cooker brand. I, I forget the name but that one has like a Teflon lining. It's not that great. Uh, so this is what I like using. Comes with just a little measuring cup. And what I'll do is I'll do one cup of rice, put a, a sprinkle of salt in here, and then it's two cups of water. So pretty simple, two to one ratio on the rice. And it's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm up early, reasonably early for once. So we're probably not gonna have lunch until one. So I'm gonna preset this. So we go to rice, short grain rice, preset, uh, maybe four hours should be fine. And then we'll click start. So when I come home, rice is gonna be ready. And I, this machine is great. The rice can sit in here for like five, six, seven hours and still be good. Uh, we did a video. I think last year now on arsenic and rice. And although white rice is substantially lower in arsenic than brown rice, rinsing the rice still does reduce the arsenic content. The issue is I'm not really comfortable rinsing my rice even with the well water I have with whatever's in the water table. And you know, rinsing rice with glass bottle mineral water is like, it's crazy. It's, it's way too expensive to do that because even if I put half a bottle of this in here and try to rinse the rice 
you know, that's not significant. When you rinse rice, it has to be like several minutes with constant running water. So honestly, maybe it's, it's a good idea for me to use the well water just to rinse it and then rinse it one more time at the end with the bottled water. But again, that's like, then you're bringing in more factors. Okay, what, what really is in that well water and is that more damaging to your health than, you know, the slight arsenic reduction of the rice that you're doing. So right now I just put the rice in and cook it and I don't worry about that too much, but so we'll be back for lunch. All right, guys, it's about three o'clock. We just got home. So we haven't eaten since those glands at 8.30 in the morning. And thankfully the testosterone, the hormones and stuff, they help me keep my energy high. And uh, I don't really get too hungry. I don't get too tired, but I definitely do, you know, want to come home and eat. Uh, so the rice has been ready in there for like two and a half hours right now. You guys can see. Uh, we got some bone and ribeye steaks from the farm. Uh, I'm just going to trim these up, sear them off, and then we'll have steak over rice. I'm debating on having beans or not. Like like when I'm tired and exhausted and really hungry, I just like having a, a big plate of just steak and rice. But then I regret not having the fiber later. Uh, we'll get that ready and then show you guys lunch. Uh, I will say that I prefer to have a meal in the morning just to, you know, keep my liver detoxing with some fiber and starch and also take some zinc and magnesium and stuff to, to balance out the copper and everything. So normally I do eat breakfast, but today because I was busy, because I had stuff to do and had to go to the mechanic and everything, um, I didn't, I didn't feel like, uh, I didn't feel like eating a uh, big meal or cooking some stuff early in the morning. No, dude. I just, oh my God. I was talking for like 15 minutes and I didn't click record. Dude. Oh my God. Help me. Holy crap. This, I was literally just complaining at the end of that. Like, I'm exhausted. This is what I do. I come home. I got to talk 15 minutes while staring at my food while I'm starving. <laughs> now I got to do it again. <laughs> All right. So. We got steak, red meat, nutrition, organic, white rice, cooked in glass bottle, mineral water, our starch source. And we got some of the jarred cannellini beans that are on frankiesrangefoods.com. I mean, I basically put the steak sauce on this. I was explaining how, how delicious it is. Um, bro, dude, I am so fried. So a few people have bought this steak sauce already, and I don't have any marriage proposals. So guys, if you try this, please leave me a review. Let me know if I'm overhyping myself or it really is that good because it's phenomenal. Yesterday, I like sauteed some ground beef in the pan, put some of the steak sauce on it, and then put that whole mixture over a big plate of rice, scarf the whole thing down. It's so, so delicious. And I actually don't like bringing it home because I, I eat way too much steak. So I'd rather keep the steak plain and not like overload my stomach. But uh, Frankie's A plus steak sauce guys available on frankiestrangemeat.com. Um, I have the plastic on it and a knife over it. Uh, this actually pours out, but if, if your fridge is too cold, you might just have to stir it up a little um, before before you pour it out onto your steak. So uh, you guys have seen this meal a few times. If you want like a full explanation, we have the food pyramid video. We have uh, the steak and potato protocol video for like in-depth explanations on each component of the meal. We got the honey crisp apples for dessert, uh, which are actually the same price as if you were buying them from the store because these are peeled and cored. So it is actually affordable. And uh, we, we took our supplements already in the in the lost recording. Uh, we had one magnesium complex, 50 milligrams magnesium, one zinc complex, 15 milligrams of zinc, one molybdenum, 100 micrograms of molybdenum, a few B1 capsules for carbohydrate digestion and a few Mastigum pills. All of these supplements being to, to, to rebalance my copper toxicity, which might take a, who knows how much longer. Yeah, I just want to, I'm just going to sit down and eat now. So go figure. Yeah, we'll see you guys for dinner because I don't remember half the stuff I said over those 10 minutes. Yeah, I was too tired last night to make some sourdough tortillas. Uh, but that's what I've typically been having for lunch lately. Uh, it'll be sourdough tortillas with white bean puree and then the steak as the protein. So instead of the rice and the beans, uh, I'll try to show you guys next week. The uh, tortillas with um with white bean puree. Right now I'm making them with just uh, whole wheat pastry flour we have on Frankie's Strange Foods, but 
Uh, I ordered some organic white corn masa. So we're gonna try it with that and then I'm gonna determine which one I like more, which one I feel better on. Yeah, definitely not a typical day, you know. I, I like filming days of eating where I'm just doing my normal stuff, but uh, I couldn't have chose, honestly, like a more obscure day to do this on. Uh, I think tomorrow I'll do the caviar in the morning instead of the glandulars and see how I feel. Just get some omega-3 uh, because especially with my eye surgeries and my eyes healing, omega-3 is very important for healing that tissue. That's why I'm I'm trying to focus on it and have either like the third eye glandular in the morning or have some omega-3 like the caviar. Yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys for dinner. All right, guys, it's like 2 a.m. I'm making dinner because I took a nap from like 6.30 to 9.30, got up, did a few hours of work, and now I'm eating before kind of going to bed. So my schedule is definitely a little messed up. Most days, like yesterday, I stayed up most of the day. Uh, well, I actually stayed up from like, you know, 10 a.m. to midnight or whatever, and then I went to bed. But sometimes I take a few hour nap. Uh, but I just want to show you guys, I accidentally left the steak sauce out on the on the table. So now it's uh, it's regular temperature. So it's, it's pretty liquidy at regular temperature. So regular temp, it's just like, you know, a pretty, you know, I would say medium bodied sauce. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. But, you know, when you put it in the fridge, the collagen solidifies, it gets a lot thicker. Uh, we're just putting some of this in the bowl. So we've got a little bit of steak sauce, and we're going to put in maybe two tablespoons of collagen broth. That's going to be our protein source for dinner. And then we're going to add some of our white bean puree, which is white cannellini beans blended up with organic artichokes. That's our fiber source for, for dinner and also some calories. So all I really have to do is boil the noodles, put them in this bowl, and then we can eat dinner. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll put this glass bowl just on the gas burner on the heat just to warm it up a little bit because if this is too cold and there's a lot of it, then uh, what'll happen is when I put the noodles in, it'll cool them down too much. But I'll see you guys uh, when we sit down to eat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Didn't escape on a flight to Columbia yet. And by the way, all of my jokes about these other countries, to be honest, look, whenever you go into another country, am I crooked? We're a little crooked. Just like my eyes and my brain today is a little crooked. So when you go into another country and you're not from there, you know, you're an outsider. So, you know, not speaking the language, not being a part of the culture. Um, same with even, even just like, Someone from one state, New York, going to Pennsylvania, you know, you feel like you're like an outsider. So, you know, most people in general are, are pretty close and tight knit. And for some, I'm getting a little too deep for the Colombian jokes. But the point is, it's not something I would realistically ever want to do. And even even going on vacation to places like that where you don't speak the language, it's very uncomfortable. So, guys, keep in mind when I joke about that stuff, it would never actually happen, even if I had unlimited funds. But uh, one thing I did notice today, back to the back to the video topic at hand, health and nutrition. Uh, I took maybe a little more glandulars than I normally do, but because I didn't eat breakfast after and I really let them sit in my stomach, I really noticed like a big difference in mental clarity and energy. Because normally I'll take the glandulars and then half an hour later I'll have some oatmeal and go to work. So if you can really let those glandulars digest for an hour or two in your stomach, let them fully absorb. And uh, big difference, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it, because I stopped, I stopped using them for about a week, because I always like, I always like taking breaks from stuff on and off testing, but uh, that's probably been the most consistent thing that's kept me more focused, kept my energy high, um, and in regards to adding a positive physical and, and mental energy thing to my diet, that's been the most significant thing. Like the food, the supplements, everything else is is more of like just keeping the body fueled and removing the negatives. From an actual positive energy perspective, the glandulars as well as water kefir and water kefir grains are like the positive, make you feel better. So, you know, by following this strict diet, by taking these supplements, 
I go from feeling bad to feeling neutral. And then by doing the glandulars and the uh, water kefir, I go from neutral to good. So hopefully that makes some, I think that makes pretty good sense. Um, actually, I have to, I'll grind up some. This pasta is really hot. Um, so we got a few minutes to cool off. So I'm actually going to grind up some massive powder here. Might as well show you guys what I do. This is this is bachelor pad living. You don't have to worry about having stuff in weird spots. So my spice grinder, which is in my cabinet closed, is actually still plugged into the wall from the last time I used it. So this is my designated mastic gum spice grinder. I have other ones I use for other stuff. It's just mastic gum can be a little sticky. So um, it's like a one-time thing. Uh, I actually took home some 20 gram tins. These are on Oregon Toughman's for like the best price online. It's like $8 lower than Amazon. We also recently got the 500 gram boxes back in stock, which is even better price for bulk. Um, so I'll, I'll probably bring one of those home after I'm done with this. I probably go through uh, two or three of these a week. These are, these are nice just because they're convenient portions. So uh, they come in that tin in a little baggie and then I just empty the baggie into the spice grinder. Now again, I have mastic capsules that I take at the beginning of the meal. Mastic is just a little more effective when dispersed immediately in the stomach. So uh, although those mastic capsules are great for on the go and, and they do help, you kind of have to take more of them uh, in some cases. Because H. pylori bacterium in the, is usually in, the, in the, the beginning of the stomach or sometimes the capsules won't disperse until a little bit in the stomach. It only takes a few seconds to, to grind up, really. Three or four seconds. And that's that. So now we have enough mastic for a few more days. So we're gonna do the same supplement routine that we did for lunch, which you guys didn't see because I forgot to record, but I, I did explain it. One magnesium capsule, one zinc capsule, one molybdenum, B1 and a few masticum capsules and I'll I'll explain what each of these do although I, I, I've said it in previous videos magnesium is required for copper to bind to ceruloplasmin so you can take all the zinc you want but your body can't detox copper without magne uh, without magnesium so when I don't take magnesium I notice like I don't sleep as well and my mind is racing that's a sign of there being more free copper in the bloodstream. So magnesium necessary every meal, zinc counteracting the copper toxicity, molybdenum is excellent for chelating copper and taking it out of the body. B1 is for carbohydrate digestion. We did a few videos on B1 a few months ago. Uh, if you want to watch those, B1 very important, B vitamins you know, very important. And then we just have some extra mastic capsules just to kind of mix in with the meal in the stomach. The honey crisp apples again here for dessert. I'm all over the place. I'm going between supplements and food. The mastic powder, I'll take about half a teaspoon at the end of the meal with a, a charcoal capsule. Charcoal just helps prevent the reabsorption of toxic bile. Uh, and I don't really talk about toxic bile or liver detox too much in this video, but uh, just to reiterate for, from what we've said in basically every day of eating so far, when you eat a meal, your body releases bile. That is the body's main way of detoxing. And the goal of this diet is to provide enough soluble fiber and bulk starch to soak that toxic bile and excrete it from the body. What the charcoal does is it helps prevent some of those toxins from being reabsorbed throughout the rest of the digestive system as the bile release occurs in the initial beginning, very, very beginning of digestion by the liver, small intestine opening where the stomach enters. So this is the you guys saw what we put in this. That steak sauce is basically concentrated uh, broth and coconut amino. So very nutritious, very high in minerals. Uh, the collagen broth is just a good quality protein source, very easy on the stomach, great before bedtime. Uh, the white bean puree is soluble fiber, some minerals in white beans, but it's just, a, it's just the best soluble fiber source, minimally inflammatory. And then the noodles, the udon noodles that we use, which we have on the foods website, are made from hard red winter wheat that is hulled. So it's the least inflammatory type of wheat. 
any other noodles I can't really have uh, because the other types of wheat do have the bran on them, which can have flavonoids and lutein and, and inflammatory compounds that are not that great for liver detox. Uh, so it's basically just a big bowl of starch, lower on the protein because uh, uh, less stress on the body. I mean, I, I would love to eat like a pound or two of meat like I used to when I was carnivore, but you can't really detox the liver doing that. It's, it's better to restrict protein in some capacity. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Uh, I take the supplements first, eat the meal, have the mastic charcoal, then have some apples, and then uh, hopefully get to bed before 4 or 5 a.m. because I still got to edit this video. But thank you guys for joining. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the day of eating. Uh, maybe I'll try to do uh, another one next week showing what I, uh, what I typically have. Uh, we've been doing the, hopefully the, the puffed grains come in tomorrow and I could show you guys those for breakfast next week. Uh, I'm either doing those or uh, I was doing the smoothie for a little bit. I prefer to have like solid food though. And uh, the lunch I told you guys earlier was the tortillas with steak. We'll try to show that next week. But dinner, dinner's, dinner's pretty much been the same. The only difference here is like, uh, I didn't put uh, like pork uh, iberico ham in the white bean puree. Uh, sometimes I put onion in it. Sometimes I put it. Depends on how lazy I am, to be honest. We just did the simple plain white bean puree with artichokes this time. Uh, so if you guys go to frankdashtafan.com, you'll see all of my interesting and creative health businesses with very unique and affordable products, ranging from the food, the actual steak, and Frankie's free range meat. Uh, we got a lot of other products on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Always trying to do new stuff. Uh, restock everything for you guys. OregonSupplements.com. Highest quality, most affordable supplements online. No fillers, no negative stuff in them. Of course, I'm always wearing my uh, Wi-Fi shield and clothing. Uh, and uh, Frankie's Naturals. Natural hygiene cosmetic products. Always using stuff every day. But uh, you guys can check out the vlog that we'll post on Monday as usual. And I'll see you guys. We'll probably do a diet review of our long-lost Japanese jungle girl on Sunday.